War. War never changes. The end of the internet occurred pretty much as we had predicted. Too many special snowflakes. Not enough oppression points to go around. The online world was plunged into an abyss of social justice and reclamation. A great cleansing. A spark struck by the hands of the social justice warriors quickly raged out of control. But it was not, as some had predicted, a complete end of the internet. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another angry chapter of virtual history. For Tumblr had succeeded in destroying the internet. But war... War never changes. Some had been fortunate enough to go on without checking their privilege, taking shelter with Tumblr in action. But on that fateful day, when buzzwords rained from the blogs, the giant toucan of Tumblr in action flew away and never returned. It was here you gained your sanity. It is here you will lose it. Life in the Tumblr in action podcast is about to change. Sorry about the, the mess and the break and the everything going wrong all at once and then people trying to shut us down and you know all the all the terrible alcohol poisoning and computers exploding and dogs and cats living together mass hysteria that sort of thing but we're back we're back once again and uh in in lieu of having a a previous modcast um be completely destroyed we are making another modcast to make up for that so Welcome, Tube Fox and Archangel Pedophile. Hello. Hey. And we're going to do some stupid shit this time. Well, like Good, we always do. stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we did stupid shit last time. There's just no evidence. Well, not anymore, at least. <laughs> For <laughs> once. <laughs> Finally. Might, might have been a good thing that that uh, episode disappeared. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe a little bit. Just Yeah. Yeah. I admitted to doing some things I should not have admitted to doing. And I don't even remember what I was talking about, because I was about 12 beers in you. Yeah, I mean... But that's okay. I mean, after uh, after recording, I just sort of woke up drunk and naked somewhere. I mean, I... That's uh, probably that, for that's the best. A pretty, that's a pre- pretty common occurrence for me, though, so... Oh. No, no... Yeah. That's just a regular weekend, you know? Well... Yep. That's that's how it goes I sometimes. Just, I, I just don't normally record it. That's the only real difference. <laughs> Next time, next time we need to bring the the cameras and the yeah, whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever else. <laughs> I'm sure if we bring cameras, I'm gonna find out that the United States will still punish you by exile for certain crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knows? Yeah. You might just be exiled to Antarctica or something. That's not so bad. Yeah, you got you got to be uh, careful in Antarctica though, because the penguins, man, you can't make too much noise. Penguins, and Morgan Freeman's voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and get down to business. We got a we got a post here that's really really fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an understatement. Well, well <laughs> yeah. Well, let's let's tell everybody about it. Um, right. the, the OP I- here is a uh, naked ladies. All right. Oh yeah, we finally have naked ladies on the show. <laughs> That's right. Finally, pretty good. Not better. Watch out, Howard Stern. We're coming for you. Well, we'll just add him to the titty bar. We're gunning for him. <laughs> yep. Um. So, title of the post is "Trigger Warning: Twitter Race Baiting Begins Immediately After an Elderly Woman Is Beheaded in London, UK." And yeah. we got some we got some tweets here. The moment when the beheading was done by a white guy, notice how no newspaper has said it was a colored person yet. Usually they're quick. And so I've noticed uh that reading this news article about the beheading and there's no mention of ethnicity slash religion, the guy was defo white. So the beheading wasn't terrorism according to the BBC. Guess he was white then. No one has mentioned the race of the attacker and the person, yada yada yada, Edmonton machete murderer, tasered by police and not shot dead. Guess he wasn't black. And then... That's pretty much, there's a, several other, basically all saying the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we finally figure out who it is, and 
A Muslim convert known as Fat Nick suspected of slaughtering grandmother pictured for the first time. He's not white. No, no. And I, I think there was one in there about them talking about blaming... Oh, there it is. Uh, if he was black, Asian, or Muslim, imagine the uproar. Well, well... Um. <laughs> I think just imagine the uproar of an elderly woman being beheaded, period. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the sort of thing people get mad about. Well, I gotta say, though, the, the thing that threw me uh, was, you know... I think I approved this post uh, when it came up. Or they just need Edmonton and beheading. Now, anybody who's aware, a few years ago, there was a guy on a Greyhound bus leaving Edmonton, and he uh, basically cut off a passenger's head and ate it on the bus. And I was like, oh, oh my yeah, shit. I remember that. I, was I remember like, that, yeah. Yeah, I was like, not again. What the hell's going on in Edmonton? <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. And as somebody in the comments called it Edmonton, and I think that's, you know, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I love this uh, this one fr- one of these remarks, the machete murder tasered by police not shot dead one, because it demonstrates that this person is an idiot who, uh, well, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but don't the police in London not have guns? Yeah, that's, that's, that's I, true. That's I mean, are, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, apparently this guy didn't even bother to look at where it happened before making that remark. Well, that's pretty typical of these sorts of, um, you know, as, uh, social justice warrior types, you know. It's complain first and then facts afterwards. Yeah, not to mention that I think the real issue here is I'm pretty sure there's a correlation between England, people getting beheaded, and Islam. Like, I think, uh, you know, that tends to be what is often related to beheadings when they happen in England, since, you know. Yeah, so... So it seems reasonable that they tend to mention it. I guess they didn't in this case, I think the French have sort of moved on from their beheadings anyway, so... Yeah. That's just pretty fucked up, though. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No real real way of, like whatever the reason behind it, whether it's you know political or religious or you know, just some guy would be crazy whacked with a basalt. Like that's just crazy shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah. People's heads need to be attached to their necks, damn it. Well yeah, I mean that, this is how you kill the person, you know. Mm. They kind they kinda need the head to live, you know. Pretty much. Uh, yep. But still, though, being being really quick to to blame it on a white guy, though, that's that's about as bad as media being really quick to blame a a gang well, shooting I mean, on a white dude. Especially well, especially why they blame it on a white guy is because the media for once was just kind of being uh, fair and balanced with the facts because maybe they didn't know yet mm-hmm. who the suspect was, so they well, didn't mention I mean, it, you know. And people have seen the lack of uh, mentioning a race must mean it has to be a white person because automatically they're going to mention the race. Like, they forget, too, American media is different than media around the world. Some people aren't into that sensationalist sort of stuff where, you know, they're trying to make the story bigger than it is. They're just kind of, here's the facts, yeah. and this is what we know. You know, it's not all CNN all the time, all over the world. Yeah. True. Tube Fox, you were going to say something? Uh, I guess I was just going to say that It seems reasonable to mention Islam if it, you know, comes up because, you know, it may be relevant to the case, whereas... Yeah, like a modus operandi? Yeah, yeah, or just like a motive, whereas I don't think it's reasonable to conclude that, like, since no one mentioned Islam, the guy must be white. It could just be that there's no reason to think his race or religion is relevant to the crime, and so it wasn't mentioned. Well, that's... Yeah, too. I mean, I never really went further into the story than what was posted here, so I don't really know what the guy's motivation was. He could have just just been a guy who lost his shit and just decided to cut some old lady's head off for the fun of it, you know? Probably. Uh, you know, his race and religion just could be yeah. incidental. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's not really much more to say about that one. I mean, it's just... Yep. <laughs> it's just pretty silly. Um, yep, people jump into conclusions and looking right. stupid. That's right. You know, we, that's we, why, we, how it goes. <laughs> that's no, we, why you don't jump to conclusions, boys and girls. Mm-hmm. You know what they say about making assumptions. That's right. When you make assumptions, it makes an ass out of you. 
Or you get your head cut, at. Or you get your head cut off. It's an ass of me, and you just make more money. That's right. Yep. All right, well, let's go ahead and move along to the next post here by Kromgar. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I, I apologize if um, if I just fucked up your name there. And the title of this post is, This is what constitutes a debate to these people? We got um, we got a couple of people here on on Twitter, and uh, someone is pretty upset, and she says, "In case you thought that like these things don't affect the way women work, I literally make decisions around the misogynist threat climate." And Christina Hoff Summers jumps in and asks, "Are you certain that you don't create a threat climate of your own?" Aw, snap! What are you talking about? To use Anne Frey's, Summers, come on, grammar. To use Anne Frey's like <laughs> misogynist threat climate suggests to me that you might have a chip on your shoulder. And there's this little gem of a response. Seriously, go fuck off. You aren't fucking welcome in my mentions or anywhere <laughs> the fuck near me. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, well, that's always mature. And, of course, that sets off the fuck meter. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so, um... The response to that one is, you just made my point. And, of course... Well, the real mature response here. Your face made my <laughs> point. Yep, middle school response. Bam! Zing! And, Christina, I think you've just had social justice dispensed to you. <laughs> How does Man. that feel? Man, Christina Somers is going to need some ice for those burns. Like, That's right. damn. Mm. Damn. Skin, skin grass and all. Yep. Just, Somebody should send her a link of burn clinics in her area. Just, mm. <laughs> Hope she has health insurance. Hope she has burn heal. <laughs> but my god, this is just <laughs> this is just hilarious. Yep. I'm sorry, but your face made my point. Like it at what moment at what moment did that come across as a good comeback? Well, well I mean Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, AAP. Oh uh I mean, I might say something like that, but I usually don't because if that you're at the point where you don't care enough to come up with a real response and you're just, just going to say that, why wouldn't you just not respond? Well, that's it. I mean, we see that a lot. I mean, most of you know, I started off and still kind of am on SRS sucks, and we would see that a lot where you get one or two kind of pre-canned responses, and once they ran into that, it became kindergarten insults. Like... They somehow think they're being funny, but it's not even, it's like cringy, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen yeah. shit like that on Tumblr, too. Like, you know, the yeah. poopy butt piss babies or, or something like that. It's like, what, yeah. what, what the hell is that? Yeah. At least stick to, like, fuck you and shit. At least I can respect that. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, it's because every single, uh, every single other insult got subsumed as somehow offensive. Oh, yeah, they're all ableist and shit. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming fuck you is rapey. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Only if you're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, misogynist threat climate would be a good fucking band name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I we, might take that. We should start a, a TIA band. <laughs> yeah, misogynist threat yeah. climate. Misogynist threat right. climate. I mean, there were there were suggestions for the podcast to be named the Patriarch cast for, for a while there, which I thought was actually yeah. kind of funny. Why didn't we think of that in the first place? God damn it. Hindsight, eh? Yeah. 2020. Oh, wow. oh man, this okay. this storm is pretty mad at these posts too. God damn. Well, I, I could hear it actually. Well, it's funny because last time we were recording, I was having a storm here. Mm. So it's moving. It's moving through. A, Tubes next. There's a storm coming, Mister Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one other thing about this link, I find it really funny how, uh, you know, she says, "Are you certain you, you don't create a threat climate of your own?" And she says, "What are you talking about?" Like, you know. She has no idea, and then the second she comes right out and s says that maybe it's her imagination, basically, she just freaks out in the way where it's just like, I think the lady doth protest a bit too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Totally. I mean, you see, we see that a lot, too, where, I mean, the paranoia is, you know, if you're paranoid enough about something, you kind of make your own reality at, at some point, you know, you start seeing things. Where they're not there, because, yeah. you know, yep. fear drives you. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was like an impulse, really. Like, you know, any sort of criticism becomes a threat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it's also like I suspect she sort of realizes that this is in part like her imagination slash made up and just, you know, but she's invested in that idea. So, you know, acknowledging that maybe it's not that bad would involve... uh, What's what's that fancy word they're like using all the time? Cognitive dissonance? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Yeah, like, you know, she's invested in that view of reality, but sometimes her brain gets information that sort of implies that maybe that's bullshit, but she's already made so many decisions based on it. Just has to save face at this point. Yeah, keep drinking the Kool-Aid. Save face by calling someone a poopy pants. (laughs) Yep. At least she kept her dignity. (laughs) Well, that's the important part here. Whatever shred of it was left. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we can move right along to um, That's right. a Jezebel we're working, post. We're working through this shit fast, oh, boys yeah. and girls. Because we got a we got a surprise at the end for you. That's right. But um, yeah. you got to get through this first. You got to you know, got to eat your ochre before you have pudding. Yeah, that's right. If eat you your, touch the meat. fast forward button, we'll know and we'll come and we'll kill you. We have the technology for that. Yup, it's alien technology. <laughs> so anyway, we have a we have a Jezebel post. Uh, gay men are misogynists. Uh, courtesy of the insanity, and of course Jezebel being Jezebel, we know this shit is pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Tube, you fixed this. An- another understatement. You you fixed this one up for us. So um, give us give us a, a summary of of this article because I'm sure some people may want to kill themselves when they're reading it. Yeah, that's valid. Uh... <laughs> the headline is The Myth of the Fag Hag <coughs> and Dirty Secrets of the Gay Male Subculture. What we have here is we have a self hating gay dude bitching about how uh, unbelievably oppressed women are by gay men because, like, when straight women go to gay male bars, they have to wait for drinks, and, you know, sometimes there's, they're stereotyped as fag hags, even though. You know, obviously that literally doesn't happen, not even once ever. It also features repeated use of the term gay male privilege, a term that makes me want to punch a baby. <laughs> a gay gay baby? <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Well, if you're going to do it, you might as well go all the way and make it a, a hate crime too, right? <laughs> as if punching a baby wasn't enough of one. Oh, man, I, I can't wait to see the headline, like, Tumblr in action mod, arrested for hate crime. <laughs> Like, uh, Tumblr's just like, we told you, we told you. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll bust you out. <laughs> oh my god, this is... I mean, I mean, really? Like, like Jezebel, really? I mean, yeah, well, throw in, really be surprised with those people. I mean, throwing throw gay men under the bus for the sake of the women, huh? Mm-hmm. It's not even, like, for the sake of the women, it's for the sake of the fag hags. Well, as uh, our resident gay mod, uh, Dover Cliss was saying, it was more about how, you know, women, uh, straight women in gay bars are kind of being treated like straight men, and that's somehow a yeah. problem. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because they're used to being treated like straight women. Mm-hmm. And uh, despite what despite what some dating advice columnists like to claim, treating women exactly like you treat men is pretty much the fastest way to make most women angry. Mm-hmm. Yep. Also, it's funny that they, uh... They self... They claim that fag hags are literally just a myth, because I've heard people, like, admit to being that, like women. So... Apparently those women were lying as part of an elaborate attempt to maintain a misogynist conspiracy. Very, very, very much of a conspiracy. Of course, the, the, the patriarchy is behind everything, ever. What I like about that theory is that it's just so plausible. <laughs> <laughs> Need to bring Mythbusters in here. Test it out. Yeah. Man, yeah, Mythbusters ain't gonna be so fun anymore. They fired Carrie Byron, so I don't really want to watch it anymore. 
Wait, wait, they fired Kerry? They got rid of all three. Misogyny, they, the patriarchy, well, they got rid, they discrimination. Got rid of, they got rid of all three of them. This is going to be Adam and Jamie now. Wait, did they get rid of them or did they all leave? No, I, I don't know. There was a um, like contract was up or something. They wanted to make the show just Adam and Jamie or some shit. I don't know. There was something on Twitter about it the other day. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. Misogyny. Yeah. And Will Grant's Asian, so that's racism too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, mm. we, gotta pro- we gotta protest this shit. Bunch of oh, wait, 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 wait. Bunch wait, of white not, dudes. We're not social justice warriors. Never mind. We won't protest now. Some quick. Somebody emailed the Discovery Channel's like uh, complaints department and called them like poopy piss babies <laughs> or something. That'll show. Call them misogynists. That's right. <laughs> Misogynist poopy piss babies. Their faces made our point. <laughs> Misogyn babies. Misogyn piss babies. <laughs> Muppet misogyn babies. <laughs> I'd, wa- I'd watch that show. Muppet Babies, really? Oh, massage and must uh, Muppet Babies. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking water when I was trying to say that. I was probably not a good idea. Drown myself. <laughs> drinking problem there? Yeah. My problem is there's not beer. <laughs> but yeah. Drink so I want... more beer. So I... Dude, I bet if you get beer in your lungs, you get really drunk. I can try that next time and report back. I don't think you should do that, dude. Like that sounds that sounds fatal. When I when I was a kid, it reminds me of a story we had uh, in our classroom. We had this drinking fountain in the sink, and there's this kid, and he was putting water up his nose, and he's like, "My dad said a little water in your lungs is good for you." I'm like, "That doesn't seem right to me." I'm I'm like seven, and that doesn't seem right to me. I don't know why his dad told him that. <laughs> Maybe you had too many kids and was just trying to get rid of one. I don't know. <laughs> you ever, um, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of drinking the alcohol, have you ever heard of the buffalo theory? I don't no. think so. Oh, you never heard of it? Okay, so so it goes like this. Um, a herd of buffalo is only as fast as the slowest buffalo. So when people go out hunting the buffalo, it's the slowest and the weakest ones that are killed first. But this is good because it improves the health of the herd so they can move faster. Brain cells work the same way. So when you drink alcohol, you're killing well, brain cells, but it's the slowest and the weakest ones that are getting killed off first. So well, it makes no you faster. Well, no wonder I'm so goddamn smart. Moral of the story, drink more beer. <laughs> I, like, I like that. It's going to tell my liver next time it starts acting up. <laughs> it's okay. It only gets your slower and weaker livers. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless logic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Shall we move to the q and I guess we should move... Well, you just spoiled the surprise. Congratulations, but... Whatever. There we, well, there we go. We have a, we have a Q&A. I ruin everything. You should know this by now. <laughs> we, have a, we have a Q&A, you guys. Um, of course, for, for those of you who actually pay attention to the uh, TAA podcast subreddit, you'd know about this, but um, we... Yeah, it wasn't we that have, secret. We asked you guys for, for some questions, and you delivered. So we'll, um, we'll go ahead and, and answer them in order of however the fuck I see him coming up on my screen right now. So the first one is from the Fish Lord. Fish Lord asks, Do you believe that SJW have some good points, and if so, when does it change from good to bad? Yeah, I mean, uh, I had a conversation with somebody the other day, there was some pissed off uh, social justice warrior type going on talking about how TIA was like the worst of the worst. And I had to set him straight. You know, uh, most of us here believe in most of this stuff. I mean, people want men and women to be treated fairly. They want different races to be treated fairly. And sexualities and all that stuff. No one here is really against that stuff. But when it gets bad is when these people start going, you know, basically what we start talking about, calling people poopy faces and shit. And, um, and, and seeing rape everywhere. And, like, why are these people always sexualizing children? Like, why do they get so, you know, the stuff that has nothing to do with sex and they make it into sex? Like, there's something wrong with these people. And that's where it kind of starts getting to the point where we're making fun of them, you know? It's not so much the what they're talking about, it's how they talk about it and how they take something, a good idea, and just bastardize it so they can complain and feel good about themselves when they're not actually ever doing anything about it, you know? Yeah. yeah, or when you try to act like some kind of ridiculous identity, like quasi-gendered, is somehow just as legitimate as being transgendered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's like you have to make a new identity for yourself that's about as unique as your name, and mm-hmm. pronouns to match it, 
and well, you're oppressed it. on top of that. There's... Not to mention they're making it hard to sort shit. That's annoying. Well, there's 7 billion people on the planet. Are we supposed to remember everybody? shit? That's why there's two basic ones. You know, it keeps things simple. We've got more important things to do in our lives, you know, than remember if it's, you know, some made-up shit or some legitimate. Like, if you look like a dude, you know, and you want to pass as a dude, then that's fine. If you look like a woman and want to pass like a woman, that's fine, too. But when you start making up these, like, crazy shades of gray that only you know about, you can't really get mad at somebody if they don't know. I mean, we're not mind readers, you know? Yeah, really. Dude, how how dare you not realize that my pronouns are voy, voy, void, self. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, if, te- if telepathy became a thing tomorrow, then no problem. I'd be able to know, you know? But until that day yeah. happens... I don't know if I'd want to read those minds, though. Yeah. <laughs> that implies that there's things there you can read. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest problem for Which me... Which is not the case. Yeah, a lot of blank screens. Yeah. I think the biggest problem for me is, like, how how people are so quick to, to say, like, something is, is sexist or racist or whatever. It's like, you know, yeah, that that's a problem. But then when they blame it on, like, this massive patriarchal conspiracy... Uh, you're stretching a little bit. Like, I, they'll, they'll jump people up. for, like, wearing tinfoil hats and anything else, but the patriarchy is a big conspiracy to them that's totally legitimate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the pa- the patriarchy to me just sounds like New World Order, Illuminati, crypto-Jews, yeah. etc. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, Personally, it's I'll... the same sort of structure. Yeah, it's, it's the boogeyman yeah. thing. You know, like, yeah. you something yeah. quick to blame everything on. Yeah, personally... I think social justice people tend to have good points in the same way I think that red pillars occasionally do, where it's like I agree with them in a very, 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 very general way, but nothing, like, I don't agree with, like, any of the things they're specifically saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, Uh, no. Broken clock twice a day. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Well, it goes back to what I'm saying. It's not so much what they believe, it's how they kind of conduct themselves about it. You know? Yeah, that's true. Well, it, it's partially what they believe, but... Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. But yeah, overall, social justice, good, but their version of social justice is not really... Eh. It's less good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, like... Now, uh, social justice has become sort of like a cringe phrase for me. Like, I automatically sort of tense up whenever I see it or, or hear it or something. And um, I don't remember if I've told this story on the podcast before, but I was um, I was visiting a, uh, a screen printing company. Oh, that's, that's some fun and, uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's pretty nasty here. But anyway, yeah. um, I was I was visiting a screen printing company, and they were like totally green and trying to be really ethical. And in their mission statement, they mentioned being uh, in favor of social justice. And the, the woman who was given the, the tour of the place, um, you know, I, I got to talking with her as she was leading us through um, the the back of the building um, where they're keeping, like, all their gardens and stuff, which is actually pretty cool. But um, but I was like, have you ever been to Tumblr before? And she's like, oh, you mean like that social justice? No, no, we're not like that. So it was kind of a relief that, one, she knew about that sort of shit, and two, she was aware that that version of social justice is pretty different from, like, actual social justice. Yeah. So. Yeah, it just... although, for me personally, that still kind of sketches me out, because I've had people who, you know, told me they were into social justice, but not, like, the Tumblr kind. And at least one of those people later informed me that uh, finding the word moist unpleasant is misogyny. Oh, boy. So, you can't have a moist... Oh. So, you can't have a moist cake... They like dry cake, don't they? They motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm. Well, I said disliking the word moist. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why. Oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. As in, as oh, in, this okay. makes me moist. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Next question. Next question. Next question. Uh, Fredro Seven, I, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Again, apologies. Um, are there any rules you wish to change in the TIA network? Huh, yeah, probably a few. Uh, which ones? Um, I don't know, it all kind of depends on what's happening. I mean, sometimes rule changes are kind of forced on us more than, uh, you know, us coming up with stuff. 
you know, just to, yeah. just to be uh, Nazis, you know, yeah. sometimes. So it was kind of hard to say. I mean... Yeah. If there were rules we wish to change, we'd change them, though. I mean... Yeah. I mean, there's some that can use a little bit more, you know, rewording here and there from time to time. Yeah. Okay. And then there's some we don't really want to change, but have occasionally just kind of had to. Well, uh, well, here's an example. We did discuss YouTube videos, because a lot of times YouTube videos don't belong in TIA. They, they either are Tumblr Circle Jerk stuff or Sanity stuff. So we have talked about that before. We haven't pulled the trigger, because also... A lot of guys are modding on their phones. It's a bit of pain in the ass to go through. But, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that. I mean, because that's what happened when TIA Discussion um, was created. Because so many self-posts, they weren't fitting in with what, you know, um, what uh, EFS wanted to be happening on the sub at the time. And it was becoming a pain in the ass approving certain ones and removing other ones. So we just end up making the whole thing. So hopefully it doesn't come down to that. You know, with the YouTube stuff, but when we get like ninety percent of them that aren't, you know, things that belong, they might have to just for you know our own sanity. <laughs> yup. Damn, the storm's yeah. picking up. Holy shit! Well, that sounds good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we move on to fake SJW down yeah, here? I guess so. Um, fake uh, SJW has a couple of questions. We'll start with this one. Uh, where do you see TIA going in the future? Um, I'd, I'd say uh, Mars and beyond. I was going to say Infinity future... and beyond, but yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> if you want to know the future of Tumblr in action, just imagine a boot stamping on an other kin's face forever. <laughs> With apologies to George Orwell. <laughs> a, gay ba- a gay baby other kin? <laughs> yep, yep. No, no, I uh, demi-semi-hemi-gendered baby other kin. Oh, boy. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll get our own Cards Against Humanity card next time. Well, we were, oh, we were supposed to yeah. at one point. That was discussed, and uh, from what I understand, the guy was going to print them up. He had a little company, and it went kind of tits up before uh, it got done. But yeah. there was talk about that once before. Yeah. Well, they got, a, far- they got a social justice card in um, in the new yeah. expansion. Yeah, I've, I've seen me, it Let me posted. grab it. Oh, shit. But yeah, as far as... <laughs> I don't mean to grab it like that. <laughs> As far as future, I think it's pretty much staying where it's, you know, where we're kind of at, you know. All right, so the card is uh, Social Justice Warriors with Flamethrowers of Compassion. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think we, we know where that oh. came from. <laughs> That's, this concludes my comments on this card. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Well, the second question kind of ties into the first question. Do you believe SJWs are harming society? Yes. Yeah. I mean, because it's, 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 the, it's the ones that we're talking about, the bad ones that most people hear about and know, right? No, I, one, really, no one really talks about the, the more normal ones. Yeah. I think, like, and, the ones in academia, for sure, because like, they have a direct influence on shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we see posts once in a while, like, things are doing to schools and stuff, and you're like... What the fuck? Like, like spelling like four year olds for uh, trying to kiss a girl or something. Like, oh yeah. There they go sexualizing yeah. children again. Like, what the fuck's wrong with these people? And in the 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 one modcast <laughs> that got deleted, we actually we actually did talk about this because um there was like a, a syllabus for for a class about like um, oh yeah uh race relations or or a history of of something like that in the United States, and it was basically all about racism and power and privilege. And you had to do a project about it and, and some shit. Dude, I recently found out I'm required to attend mandatory bullshit about privilege as part of my job. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not. Holy I'm, shit. I think I'm just going to go in there and just keep my mouth shut the whole time and try not to tell anyone to blow me. Record it. <laughs> no, dude, seriously, record that shit. I, I, I will try. That would, be, that would be amazing to hear. Top secret recordings... <laughs> <laughs> social justice meeting yeah. exclusive yeah, although, social justice although, undercover although I can't uh, I can't promise the recording won't end with just me saying blow me douchebag <laughs> and then like and then like you know like impact noises so so what you're saying is we misogyny. might we might get audio footage of someone getting fired is what you're saying <laughs> uh yeah probably <laughs> fucking worth it yeah yep they don't pay shit anyways, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah. 
We're, uh, we're, we're doing whole units on like diversity and stuff in um, in my teaching courses now. They're they're um one of the one of the papers that we had to write. The whole last paragraph was how did uh, race, gender, and class relate to your high school experience? And I was like, um, there was more people pissed off at the rich folks than anything else. That was about it. Well, yeah. yeah. One of the things I will say about social justice people, one of the ways I think they do legitimately harm society is I think they, I don't want to sound like, you know, Mr. Obnoxious Communist here, but I think they end up, uh, they end up driving the lower classes apart and creating divisions within them to, which prevent people from noticing that class is really the, like, number one determining factor in how much shit yep. sucks if yep. you live in oh, America yeah, absolutely. or most other places. I, I've said this enough times, to, uh, even back in, you know, the uh, SRS sucks days, where it's not really about white versus black or gay versus straight. It's always been class kind of thing, and all this yeah. kind of stuff is a distraction, you know? Yeah. Whether you want to call it the 1% or whatever, you know, it's just... Yeah. You know, everyone's bickering amongst themselves, not paying attention to who's really fucking them over. You know, and why is like that? Because I grew up, I grew up in a in a you know pretty ghetto area, and it didn't matter what color you were. You know, most people were gonna end up in the shitter anyway. But if you're down the road a little bit, it didn't really matter what color you were because you're gonna end up probably in a pretty good place. You know. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk like power and privilege. You know, the those who have the wealth are the ones that are in power, and. You know, arguably, they're the ones that come from privilege anyway, so... Of course, they, yeah. make, there you they, go. Make, they make people in the lower classes not care about, yeah. you know, politics and stuff, and then there's just the rich people voting for themselves. Yeah, I mean, well, shit, like, you can't, you can't run for office unless you're rich anyway. I mean, yeah. campaigns yeah. cost millions and millions of dollars. You think you're going to fucking kickstart that shit? <laughs> yeah. That'd be, that'd sure. be good, though, to actually have, like, someone from a... a less well-off background, like, have a Kickstarter campaign to, like, run for Senate or something and actually get it. Or at least it. somebody who's not a complete jack-off moron who drank their way through law school. Yeah, that's true. And got elected by, like, sucking the previous senator's cock or however the fuck they do it today. Or has a crack dealer that pulls some strings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we love Rob Ford. <laughs> I, like, the, the guy's, like, it's, like, such a... Uh, Almost out of like a Grand Theft Auto storyline, his like there's talks about fucking just ties with gang members and all kinds of shit. Like how he still Wait. has a job, it's beyond me. It's totally Wait. has to be something like that. What? Yeah, yeah. There was oh, well when the when his uh, that video came out, it was gang members that were trying to extort him, and it was with gang members in the photos. And there was some guy that got <laughs> beat got beat up, and the story was that he you know got the guy beat up. And all kinds of shit, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Huh, I hadn't heard <laughs> about that. I'm going to have to check that out, but uh, next question, shall we? Yep. Yes. Um, Why are you all literally Hitler, still from fake SJW? Because Genetics. Hit because Hitler was a winner. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. not. Maybe not. At the end, he kind of uh, didn't win so much, but... Well, let me let me explain this. When Hitler's dad and Hitler's mom <laughs> love each other very much. <laughs> oh my god! So an Austrian aristocrat and a whore um, uh, maid love each other like for about ten minutes anyway, and then we. Uh, more like two. <laughs> Hitler seems like a premature ejaculator, so his dad probably. Well, would I too. I always heard that he would ejaculate in his pants when giving speeches. That sounds like one of those things people made up to, uh, then again, he was on math a lot, so maybe. Yeah, and he got pretty excited when he talked. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. So. Although part of that is they speed up, uh, at least in America, they sped up recordings of him to make him seem crazier. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. I that's why he German, always though. looks like he's completely losing his shit. I mean, he kind <laughs> of is, but he looks more like somebody who's like a politician trying to rally a crowd than somebody who is, like, just fucking, like, having a psychotic episode in front of a podium <laughs> in the regular footage. <laughs> well, that makes some sense, because... Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, even jacked up on math, he still seems to be moving pretty quick in a lot of these videos, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I mean, all I can say is I got kicked out of art school. That's why I'm literally Hitler. 
<laughs> Wait, you got kicked out of art school? No, I didn't. Or, or no. Did you Damn. Or you oh, right. Buildings? I just did. I, I just did. Um, I was actually going to school for uh, for graphic design for for a long time, and I did really really shitty in all the classes for it. And so I was like, ah, fuck this. I'm just gonna move to English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, you are already on your way to being literally Hitler. Well, English <laughs> instead of German, but whatever. <laughs> you don't happen to have one. Close enough. You don't happen to just have one ball, do you? Because nope. that's a pretty that's a re- prerequisite to be Hitler, I think. Well, that and a beer hall putsch. So that's about it. <laughs> well, fortunately, assuming you currently have two balls, we can get you to meet that prerequisite. <laughs> that's true. Um, I, we, ha- I think, we have the technology. I think, I think <laughs> that will be the uh, dual balled Hitler. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, that's not acceptable. Please Wait. lie down on the table, sir. No, nope. that's, uh, that's not accurate. Nope. Can't go lie the full down. line. Mm-mm, can't do it. Well, we don't need you to go to the full nine. We need you to go to the partial one. <laughs> I, I love how the next guy even says, here's a bunch of easy questions. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this first one's going to be easy, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't sti- know. We were so... discussing this one a little bit before we started recording. It yeah, sound like yeah. an this easy next question. guy is Treesus Saves, by the way. Treesus Saves. I like that username. <laughs> that's, that's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, so, so first question from, from Treesus Saves. What episodes of the X Files are your favorite? So yeah, I think we were uh, kind of discussing. I always like that Lizard Man one, where like people were getting murdered in the circus. And then there was the B one, the B people that were uh, cocooning, uh, you know, people from outside the town. That was pretty creepy. First season, basically, when it was like all uh, the creepy shit. I would the say. circus oh, one, yeah. humbug. Yeah, I think that was like um, second or third season. Uh, maybe. I mean, it's I been know. a long time since I watched that show. But before I got into, you know, Smoking Man and shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like, uh, I like the episodes with Tombs or whatever that guy is. Yep. Eugene guy's Victor name Tombs. is. Yeah, the the one who, uh, you know, contorts his and, like, stretches and stuff. And, like, every 50 years he wakes up and has to eat, like, 10 people's livers. Those are <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. creepy. He should stay away from my liver if he knows what's good for him. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone everyone gets creeped out at home. And that one was, I don't know. I've always, I've always thought that one was was kind of cool. Ice also is a is a favorite of mine because that's basically just uh, the thing in in the X Files. Uh, my, my favorite one overall is uh, is called Monday. It's from I think the sixth season or so, but um, it was actually written by uh, Vince Gilligan, the guy who did uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Oh, and me. It's my favorite for for two reasons. One, it's written absolutely brilliantly, and two, the whole plot is basically like Groundhog Day, and I fucking love that movie. Oh, I remember that. One. I fucking yeah. love that movie. Yeah. Yep. Every single day, the bank's going to get robbed, and Mulder and Scully are going to get shot. What do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we could skew a second question because we kind of answered that already. Yep. Do you think SJWs yeah. have an actual impact yeah. on politics? Kinda. Probably. That's my answer. Political correctness. Especially yeah. when, especially when it comes to like uh, campus politics. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if they have like a an effect on, like say regional, state, whatever national politics. Certainly not. I know uh, the I d- the feminist party from like Sweden or somewhere got a seat in the European Parliament recently. Oh, Jesus fuck. Uh, also, I think they do have at least some small effect on uh, national politics. Like, some of that war on women shit during the 2012 election was reasonable, mm-hmm. but a lot of it was kind of like... Well, you also, you also hear slash Obama bullshit. talk about the, uh, the wage gap and shit now. Oh, yeah. Somebody needs to tell that dude he's fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, he's hey, wrong hey, Barry, and an idiot. Show up. And you'd they think do, you'd... but they're just accused of being Fox News <laughs> correspondents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back off, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, dude, I know you're president and shit, but don't you have time to, like, read a goddamn fucking book? No, he's gotta like, play... Like, any book? No. He's gotta he's play gonna... basketball and eat hot dogs. Well, he, he, he plays, probably he plays just... golf more than he plays basketball. Oh. Uh, it's a golfer now, he... eh? Oh, yeah, Tiger Woods. Yep. Except without the whole infidelity thing. Well, not yeah. yet. Not yet. No. Michelle still looks yeah. all right. When Michelle's looks go down, go away. <laughs> you know. Although I hear both of them have a problem with not getting let into most country clubs. Oh boy. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to save some face there. <laughs> All right, well, so, the third question is kind of like the first one as well. At what point does someone stop being concerned with social justice and becomes an SJW? Um, when you call them out on something and they say your face made my point. Yeah, that's, that's when pretty they, much when, when they when they, when they yeah. start like s- their own conspiracy theories. Basically, yeah. they become their own brand of tinfoil right. hat crazy. A guy who are videotaped at the University of Toronto screaming the word oh. "rape apologist oh, scum," God. the phrase over and <laughs> over again, like with fuck you. I'm trying to talk. Fuck you. Shut up. Fuck you. Like oh man, I'm so that. Unbe- that one girl at the University of Toronto, like, she's just screaming, like, rape apologist yep. scum in this way. Yep. She has the shout out, expression. Shout out to Big Red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks, for, me, baby. thanks for the amusement. But, uh, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to like, be from there now. Yeah, I'm that ashamed. one girl looks like she's about to, like, claw her eyes out, practically. Like, she just looks so fucking crazy. It's like, how, <laughs> how, how dare somebody be a men's rights activist? Yeah. I remember, I remember when it was happening, someone uh, photoshopped a picture of her with jizz all over her face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> cracked up. That was funny shit. Uh, I almost <laughs> feel bad for laughing at that, but not quite. Not enough. <laughs> nope. Uh, it's probably oh. still around on uh, Angry, the Angry Birds sub. I think that's where it was from. Oh, Jesus. That's it? Sub's still around? check that out. I think so. I think I modded that sub, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> I might. <laughs> you not know? Not, not very often, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. I got a bunch of them that I have no idea what they are. Some of them I've never even been to. So I'm just like, hey, I want to mod them. All right. I got yep. to weed that out. <laughs> well, anyway, next question. If World right. War Three started tomorrow, you decide which countries are on what side. Uh, let's see. U.S. and Israel versus China and Russia. All right. Cage yeah. match. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go with that. What do you think Tumblrinas would talk about? Well, um, the fact that 10 women have died during this war versus 10 million men to misogyny. Also, the fact that white people are bad even though the Chinese military has, like, way more people than... It's the largest America, standing military in the world. People. Yeah. So, but it would still be, like, the white people doing the bad thing. If North Korea jumped in on that Russia-China action, though... What? With his dong that'd be, missiles? That'd be, that'd be hilarious if, if they started saying, like, we were oppressing the North Koreans. Well, fuck. Yeah, they, <laughs> Probably. They find a way. I think they're just contrarians at heart. Like, yeah, a lot like of them social are. Social justice warriors. Oh, yeah. Also, don't forget that, you know, insisting that the draft be reinstated so we can send the men to go defend the ladies. <laughs> Probably. Uh, probably not, but Whatever happened probably. to chivalry? <laughs> It's not bad, you just have to ask for it. Fuck you, neckbeard. Dude, (laughs) listen, lady, if you want me to be chivalrous, you can, like, put on a corset that makes it really hard for you to breathe, and then you can quit your job and drop out of school and clean my house. (laughs) At this point, I will be chivalrous. Welcome to 1886. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so Crazy Logical 1 is, is next up. Uh, what do you think when social justice bloggers accuse someone of having internalized misogyny, racism, ableism, whatever, when that person disagrees with them? Have you ever seen the Manchurian Candidate? Yep. That's pretty much what I think of. It's just like, you know, you don't really disagree with me. You've been kidnapped and brainwashed to, like, pretend to be a woman. But, you know, when when feminism comes up, you reveal the horrible programming It's just like, it's like the sheeple thing conspirators do, really. Yeah. Now, now, mention the maturing candidate, now I'm just thinking of Reggie Jackson, naked gun. I must kill the queen. (laughs) I must kill the queen. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Jesus. How do you feel about self-diagnosis? Um. Uh, uh, Of mental illnesses? No. I mean, Not really. I no. mean, I mean, you can maybe get a ballpark idea that you might have a problem that way. Yeah. But I mean, to go and like list fifty things when you're a twelve year old on the internet that you're, you know, and you get offended when someone goes, "Hey, maybe you should go see the doctor just to make sure." You know, I'm not calling you a liar yeah. there, champ, but maybe you should just go and check it out, and then they start freaking out. 
Yeah, know? especially because people have to realize that the vast majority of the symptoms of mental illness are things normal people have some of or even most of. Mm -hmm. It's the extent to which they exactly. occur and or how many of them that makes it an illness. Well, that's it. I mean, to get diagnosed, I mean, it's not just like someone walks in and looks at you in two seconds and they go, all right, you got this, you got that. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, both yeah. answering questions and, you know, a lot of different tests. It's not like a lot of these people say, basically say that, like, how would a doctor know my body better than me? Well, A, they're professionals, and B, there's the protocols. It's not, they're just tapping in the knee and go, oh, yeah, you got, um, you know, multiple personality disorder. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention that some of the self-diagnoses I've seen, like, I can kind of see self-diagnosing with depression just because, like, actually, you know what? Never mind. But, uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> but also, like, I've seen people who are, like, appear to have self-diagnosed themselves with schizophrenia, and it's just, like, if you're able to self-diagnose yourself with that, that means you have an overactive imagination, because that implies you know your delusions are delusions. Well, isn't there something about, like, insanity is, like, if you know you're, or, you know, can tell you're insane that you're not really insane? You know what I mean? Like, there, there, yeah. there's an awareness about it, then... Well, that's just most, getting philosophical. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree with that, though, at least when it comes to, like, disorders that cause, like, hallucinations or paranoia or that kind of thing. Yeah, because most people that are legit crazy, they don't go on, like, hey, I'm crazy, the, to them is normal, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> also, we missed, we missed one from Treza Saves, assuming the punishment for rule infraction is not equal... Which rules are most likely to get you banned? Oh, that's a good one. Rule one. Rule one. For sure. yeah, rule one. Rule one. Yeah. rule one is basically a permanent ban every single time, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, looks yeah. like just a couple from Jesus says, "Quit editing your your posts, Jesus." <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. So yeah, that'll that'll get you banned. Yep. yep. Just immediately. Yep. We 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 do confirm stuff in our own little secret ways. Ooh, Mr. Yes. Always watching in our patriotic conspiracy conspiracy way. Yeah. So I guess we'll go back to Trees of Saves because look at look at this guy over here asking seven questions. Yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> seven shit. I only got six. He has been editing. Seven asses. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So, do you think the efforts of SJWs today will have a lasting impact 1,000 years from now, like the butterfly? Effect? Okay. Uh, no. In a thousand years, we'll all be the robots whole thing with, with alien the Unless they make it a religion. Show, Unless they turn it into a religion for real. The causality is so like mm -hmm. long and weird that there's no way you could basically follow it at all. Like, what I'm trying to say here is maybe, but not in a way like anyone could detect. Like, I don't think. Like, you know, maybe something about SJWs leads some guy to not do something, yeah. where if he did that thing, it would have had some effect, that, like, blah, blah, blah. For th yeah, especially not after a, a thousand years. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to tell, basically. And that, uh, yeah. And then John Connor yeah. would still be alive, and, we'll be and Judgment oh, Day would happen. Although, actually... <laughs> Well, yeah, I know you mean, especially over that amount, least, amount of time. I think, uh, you know, some of the social I mean, justice thing is turning more and more people off towards, like, legitimate social justice things, which, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you right now, it's, it's turning gonna, people off to, like, feminism and shit, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, it's gonna have the reverse yep. effect, you know? Yep. So good, good going, guys. Yeah. Congratulations, you screwed. I mean, it's, it's like I was saying earlier, you know, yeah. it's, it's become sort of like a cringeworthy term for me, and it's not supposed to be bad, but totally oh, just fucking Speaking ruined that, it. Remember that? Someone posted that song, uh, some guy wrote about being a yeah. social justice warrior, like, uh, sometime last week. Did you, did you watch that video? Mm-mm. Some acoustic guy looked, oh my god, I don't yeah. know if he was trying to be funny or was for real, but it was... Cringiest goddamn Yeah, the uh. All about being proud to be called Social Justice Warrior. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I, I think I'm. I think I lost it. Never mind. What are we holding on to? Oh, yeah. Just on <laughs> the subject like of. 
on the subject of social justice, not holding on anybody's penises. Sorry, I think the best summary I've heard is social justice is to justice what homeopathic medicine is to medicine. At least, like, t at least the Tumblr social justice, like the way they mm -hmm. use that. It's pretty fair. Yeah. That's pretty fair. Mm -hmm. hmm. Anyway. So what's his, what's his next question? Yeah, last last question saying. here. Finally, last question. <laughs> well, for, for Treesus at least. Um, considering the variety of SJWs, POCs, and other flavors of other Tumblr and that are present to TIA, what groups do you think get underrepresented? Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, other kins are kind of kind of weird because other can kind of went away on their own for a while yeah because people started well, they stopped people... really being totally crazy well, well totally totally people, crazy a lot of people were finding yeah. just like low-hanging fruit because you don't know it could just be some you know 13 year old kid going through a phase yeah, yeah you know yeah. not really harming anybody and some people also like, kind of uh feel a little guilty for you know ragging on these kids and i understand that yeah plus it's very it's very easy to troll that way too i mean you know we spent a lot of time looking through the other can um uh, uh blogs more than anything else to determine if you know it's someone just yeah. fucking around also or I have to say some uh, guy who thinks he's a dragon this might with a some unicorn people, spirit, but I have trouble you know? finding the other kin any sillier than most other r religious people because that's really what other kin basically is like if you think you have a dragon spirit or something that's basically a religious belief yeah yeah, I guess yeah. like a spirituality sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess yeah, that way. I think headmates would be would be my my pick for the underrepresented. Yeah, pretty group. much. Yeah, well, they're all kind of cut from the same cloth, right? Yeah. 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 But Tolbas can get pretty interesting because you get into the paranormal shit with that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were there was our X Files plug there. Yep. It all, <laughs> totally all ties back that. around again. The circle is now complete. That's right, but we got two more questions to go. Yep. One more question, anyway. Well, a couple more. Right. Um, let's see. That's Kudger wants to give a shout out to uh, socialjustice.tumblr.com to show that there are level headed people yeah. on that platform. Yes, like, ugh. 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 <laughs> what? Why do you write, ugh? Well, fucking Mighty Python. <laughs> submit the come on. <laughs> Oh, the back of the throat. <laughs> so, all right, all right, well, there's a shout the actual, out. The actual question here is, uh, what's your guess on how big of a percentage of these self proclaimed How many SJWs degrees are they turning their heads their head? in a few years and call it a face? Because uh, if it's 360, probably. I'm going to yeah. guess 50. 50% 50 of them. <laughs> 360, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we've had a, we've had a quite a few people send us mod mails and stuff, saying you know a year yeah. or two ago they were full into that shit and they found this place and yeah. kind of got out of it. So, you know, I mean, it, and, and you're seeing stuff on Tumblr, even like the big the big social justice posts, um, and then someone reblogging that calls them out and shit, and they get like a, a ton of notes and stuff. And I've got a tool that that'll check like the tags that everyone puts in there, and that's how I find some some cool stuff for um. For stuff to submit to a Tumblr in action, but anyway, you'll see tags in there. It's like you know, truth, you know, reblog for truth. Oh, I hate these social justice types. So even on yeah. Tumblr, like there's there's a pretty big backlash towards them, which I'm I'm pretty glad to to see, to be honest. So I don't think it's gonna last very long. The whole no, social they're reaching justice trend, critical but, mass uh, oh, soon. Yeah. I mean, you're starting to see it like discussed on YouTube comments and Facebook and stuff. And eventually, people are just like we talked earlier, just getting annoyed by it. And you might have some people turned off completely with, you know, things like feminism and stuff. But you'll, I think more people will kind of, uh, still kind of stay yeah. for their causes, but just kind of. I mean, plus, I think the number of posts people. that have been like, wow, 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 yeah. I got kicked yeah. out of my campus LGBT, uh, group for being a raging asshole have gone up, which I think is a sign that the tide is sort of turning against them. Cause. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I remember there was, there was a post a while ago about uh, some trans person that was kicked out of a nightclub, 
and they went on and wrote this huge article like I picked up places and accusing the uh, the you know the owner and all that stuff of being transphobic and then when he posted his side of the story it was like no you were sitting in a place that like you were an unsafe place we asked you several times to move and then when I you know you didn't like being told to move then you flipped out and started you know yelling yeah. all that stuff and there's other people kind of backing up his story that were there but it was that kind of stuff like I'm being yeah. I'm being a dick but I'm gonna not acknowledge my dick uh, parts to the whole thing and I'm going to turn it around to get sympathy from people and people are starting to see through that. At first, people were buying into it because like, oh my god, you can't be uh, transphobic. And now people are like, you know, yep. it doesn't matter. You're a dick regardless if you have one or not. You know? Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. Mm. Right. But yeah, so not, not, not a lot of them. I mean, the, the rest of them will go on to become like university professors and then those are the ones I worry about. Yeah, as that, the, as, the, as that percentage that are past the college um, age and are still into it, those are the ones that ain't going. Yeah, well, they're the ones that are also regulated to like women's studies and, and sociology departments, and the, you you don't you don't hear a whole lot from from yeah. them unless it's like a occasional HuffPo article. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We we'll save that for another podcast. <laughs> that's a that's a whole nother podcast. But anyway, so our our last question is from uh, Skulk Rubbish, and they ask, "No, oh, this is a personal question. This is for me." Uh-oh, that uh-oh. too. I have no serious or thought provoking questions to ask. You want to touch a wiener? Is that, that's what he's asking. <laughs> so, if you had to wear one type of hat for the rest of your life, what uh-oh. kind of hat would it be? Um, I have a hat that I intend on wearing for the rest of my life. It is a uh, black ball cap with a uh, super mushroom from Mario Brothers on it, and along the um, left side of the bill, it says "I uh, know your roots." <laughs> and I intend on wearing that hat until it falls apart. Upon which I will get one of the backup hats that looks exactly like it and wear it. <laughs> and when that hat falls all apart, I'll get the other backup hat that I have for it. So See, there's a, there's a system in place. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even fucking kidding you. So, like, so you're I, I so you're like have... you're like the Linus of hats. Like he basically, had eight, yeah. He had eight million blankets in uh <laughs> storage. Yeah, okay, basically. Last one. Like whenever whenever I see one on eBay, I I like snap it up for sure. Like how, how like though, man? Like I get I get hats and I go through hats like fucking toilet paper. Like <laughs> they they uh they get all sweaty and shit. Like can't really wash them that well. You know, like nah. so like, you get that white fucking salty shit after a while. Uh, and I'm just, I got a whole pile. I'm looking at them right now from over the last couple of years. I've got a I mean, like some out of them. I mean, the one I've, the one I've got now, I've, I've had for like six years. I mean, that's, that's the, the original one. Well, I'm sorry. The original, original one actually, uh, fell in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the, the story, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not shitting you. Uh, this, the story for that one goes, I was at, uh, Volcanoes National Park. And there's a, there's a little section, uh, near, near the, the top of, um, I forget what the fuck volcano it is. But anyway, there's, um, there's like a little um, a cliff and a small like stone wall, and if you if you look over that wall and like to your right, you can see a, uh, a sea arch, and everyone's sitting there taking pictures of it. And I'm like, oh, I might as well take pictures too because I'm a stupid tourist. Why not? So it's it's really windy out too, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to lose my hat, so I take my hat off and I like step on it to make sure you know it's grounded. Okay, but I'm not gonna lose it, and you know I I take my pictures and whatever. Put my camera back in my pocket. I go to pick up my hat. Big old gust of wind comes up. Blows straight into my hat. It blows out of my hand, over that little wall, into the goddamn ocean, and I never saw it again. Fuck. Just, just do me a favor. Don't be like those assholes on roller coasters that lose their hats and then hop over the fence to try and get it yeah. and then get decapitated by the roller coaster. Oh just no! Don't, just it was, if it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> no, it, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't about to like jump off the goddamn. I, I don't want to run this. Happen. I don't want to run this podcast afterwards. So. <laughs> Just, just let it go. <laughs> oh, was that good enough for you? I see how it is now. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, no. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a there, there was a protocol for if if it actually gets to the point where I don't lose it or it doesn't get stolen from me. Like if it gets to the point where it falls all to pieces and I can't wear it anymore. <laughs> um, the mushroom is supposed to be cut off and saved, but the rest of the hat will be burned. The mushroom will live on. Yep, the, the mushroom will live on, but the rest of the hat gets burned <laughs> in, a, in a big old bonfire, to which everyone in attendance will throw fireworks into the bonfire. 
So your username, like, you know, is really relevant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, why not? Like, we want to we want to send it out with a bang. My, and mine's a not, by the way, just in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> 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 yeah, but but no, my my username really is relevant. It it is literally yeah. named after my hat. My hat is called the hat too. So well, well we learned something today. Yep, Con- congratulations everybody. That's the origin of origin of the hat and the origin of the name. The origin story. Yep, that's the the hat I'll wear for probably probably the rest of my life or whenever I outgrow hats or. No, nah, yeah, just I stay out of Edmonton. Or, or you go to yeah. London. They and fucking get cut people's heads <laughs> oh, off shit. there, just all the time. Uh, like, dude, Edmonton. I was actually Edmonton, in Edmonton right? recently, yeah. and like, and there's just a, a pile game. of decapitated heads that's and like a hundred feet high in the middle of Main Street. Yeah, it's fucked up. Oh, yeah, Jesus. and the Edmont- and the Edmont- the Edmonton here is just cold all the time, so. But they got, but they have, they have a pretty cool mall. There's a submarine inside the mall. Do they decapitate yeah, they got people? That going for them. Your hockey team is pretty all right too, you know. Nah, I won't say too much. I won't, yeah. I, I won't say too much about the hockey game you because know, I'm a Leaf fan, so. Oh. I can, so I won't, I'll keep my mouth shut. Cause... No, it's okay. I like, I like the Leafs too. It's just can't win a goddamn Stanley Cup several times. Well, that's what I mean. That's why I'm not saying too much because it can easily come right back in my face. So. Yeah. <laughs> Got to know when to pick your battles, right? Yeah, I hear you. I can make fun of, like, Buffalo, maybe, but that's about it. <laughs> maybe Ottawa. And fuck Montreal. Oh. No. Oh. Uh, oh. Just watch this. We're never going to hear from uh, <laughs> maybe AAP spark the war again. Here. Just like that's somebody's right. going to toss a Molotov through his apartment window. Yeah. <laughs> now you, you might not hear from me again if I'd say go Habs go yeah. on the goddamn podcast. Yeah. It, it'd be mutually assured destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really just, I don't like Boston, so I had to pick a side. Yeah, man, fuck Boston too. I like the Red Sox, but not the Bruins, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that commercial with Patrice Bergeron for the hockey game is pretty funny. That's the only good thing that's coming out of Boston in quite some time. <laughs> It appears that there are no more questions here for us. Well, well, good job, everybody. You actually rose to the challenge. And yeah, well, let's yeah. hope we don't have any uh, technical issues after this. No, I swear to God, if we do. <laughs> nope. No, hopefully, hopefully no one listening has any technical issues, too. If, if, if you're listening to this, here's hoping that your computer does not explode or otherwise malfunction or whatever listening device you're, you're hearing us on. Yeah, that that would be bad. No, no broken electronics. No. But yeah, I guess uh, that's all she wrote then, huh? I suppose. I suppose that's it. Any uh, any parting comments from from either of you two? Nope. <laughs> well, short and sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah there, there you go. There you go. Hail satin. <laughs> yeah, satin's nice. The... Yeah. Somebody somebody spray painted that on the on the side of my school when I was when I was very young. Yeah. Hail satin. Yeah, I've seen that quite a bit. I'm yeah. sure I've probably done it myself. I'm more of a I would love to know what percentage kind of, of those are yeah, jokes yeah, yeah, and poly, what percentage are people who are just fucking wind, retarded. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'd say the majority of them are people yeah, are, are yeah. fucking retarded. Especially like, yeah, especially like 13-year-old kid that just, you know, discovered Ozzy Osbourne for the first time and running around carving shit all over the place. That's usually the sat- uh, satin people. I mean, you you see you see people trying to carve Dude, like so satin funny stars story. into uh, places too. And the before we star go, David. I star of David. Of this. In yeah. high school, there were uh, stars of David carved over fucking everything, and often it was accompanied by like some kind of like trying to sound hardcore message. And I was always just like, "What the fuck are there like Jew gangs around here?" But apparently. Uh, Apparently, there's some gang called Black Gangster Disciples of <laughs> Islam, whose logo is a uh, Star of David, and that's what was going on there. Uh, not hardcore Jews, it turns out. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my God. Well, I said it wasn't that. All right, well, we got, that we got the Jewish Internet Defense Force for that one. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there's no better place. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, because it wasn't the internet, though. <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah. All right, well, 
listening, I y'all. On, on that note, we'll um we'll go yeah. ahead and, and sign Can't off. Can't that. Yep. Yep. All right. So, yep. Thanks, thanks everybody for listening, and uh, we'll, I'm, we'll see. I'm wait. I'm sitting here waving. Why? Why am I waving? You <laughs> don't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, no one can see me. I'm, I'm kind of no. naked here, but whatever. All right. I mean, don't don't we usually do the podcast naked? Well, yeah, but you probably, <laughs> you probably got a hat on, right? Um, on that yeah. note, let's probably uh, once again, hat will be naked except we'll, for his. We'll hat. see you all next time. Hey guys, thanks for listening to the Tumblr in Action podcast. If you'd like to be a guest host on a future podcast, please send me a message on Reddit, Tumblr, or Twitter. I'm known as The Hat 2 on all three platforms, so shoot me a message and we'll see what we can do about bringing you on. Again, thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next time.